Alrighty guys, welcome back to Subnautica, where today we are going to be running and getting the final part here for Alan. Now that means we gotta go back over to the, was it the ice shelf? And we gotta go extend the bridge. Now, I already got everything set up. I am not, was it, bleh, I'm not gonna be bringing the prawn suit. I already got everything set up, so that way I can just kinda get there faster in the sea truck so we're gonna gonna hop right into it here i already got everything i need loaded up with a bunch of water and i loaded up with a bunch of food already so we should be fine it's just now i need to head over there maybe i should pull up the fire robotics just so i have a somewhat you know go in this straight line direction you know now I already made the hydraulic fluid, and I did that by slowly uh, cutting up my one gel sack that I had in my farm until it became, I think it's eight now, and so now we actually have a pretty good uh, gel sack farm, along with uh, the one mushrooms that we need for uh, hydrochloric acid, because I, apparently I need that in mixed with something, uh, Was it, it's mixed with gold, and we get the one compound thing polymer i think it is uh and we use that to uh build alan's organs i guess but today i'm pretty sure we are going for the tissue sample and uh we are going to run into ice worms all right let's let's just be honest here we are going to run into one all right here's the dock so we just need to pull up next to it and we should be good. I'm not gonna like go parallel parking like I did last time. We're just gonna pull up like that. And I need a wabam and a wabam. I should have brought more batteries for you guys. Uh, I think we're good. Oh, also something I did craft here off screen. Some swim charge fins. These were actually pretty easy to make. That's uh, one of the first things I had to use the polymer for. One of the, the material I need the hydrochloric acid in. You gotta mix it with gold. So, what is that? It wants me to scan it. I thought I already scanned all this stuff. Guess not. Can't harvest it. But, I'm pretty sure I just have to run straight up here. Let's, uh... Drop my, uh... Snow fox so I can at least ride it. Also, having a snow fox with you... Basically just guarantees that you're constantly warm. So you don't have to worry about running around trying to find a geyser or anything to keep warm next to. So boom. Alright, let's insert the hydraulic fluid. Repair the bridge. I got that ex achievement. Um, extend. Alrighty. Now, before we cross here... Ah, it's night. You know what? Before we cross here, because I know I can do this, let's run back to the sea truck and... Uh, I have a bed on board. We're going to sleep there and then we'll head over. This also gives me a good reason to stop and check my guide so I make so I know exactly what direction I need to be going. All right. Spawn nearby failed. What does that mean? What did it try to spawn nearby? Also, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, bed. Let's sleep through the night. I'm gonna check my guide. Okay, so I kind of got a sense of where I'm going in my guide. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull it back up here once I get to this point, but I've kind of found a spot, like a path I can follow to a certain point. Then I gotta go back to the guide, because then it's kind of this starts getting a little bit more tricky. So let's head over the bridge here now. Should be good. I'm not going to boost. We really don't need to. This is more or less just to keep us warm as we travel. And it is traveling technically faster than us walking. So the boost is just kind of, I guess, to get out of the way of things. So. Alright, so I, when I first cross over I'm here. I'm sensing interesting patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. Okay, so he said northeast. My guide has me going this way. Like, the guide literally has me go this way. 
go through the cave, hug the left. You go up. And it's like go here. And I'm looking for a broken tower. All right. Oh, there it is. It's kind of like a mining site, not a broken tower. Sorry. I guess we can stop here because there is a data pad and I kind of want to get it. There might also be water here because I also do realize I forgot to grab some stuff out of the sea truck before I left. Mind you, I did load it up. I got that thing ready to go for an adventure. Thumper batteries. What's a thumper? Is that something that's just supposed to keep away the ice worms? Nutrient block. That looks like a hole. Um, let's just pick you up for now. We can grab the data pad, tunnels. Yeah, that's nothing too important. All right, I'm gonna pull up my guide here real quick because this is where he got to. Then it got a little bit confusing on where he went. Okay, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, when I first watched the guide, I guess I was kind of just confused myself because I was like, what? That's so confusing. And then it's not, it's quite literally just go this way. Then you're down here where these uh, mushroom cap looking ice things are. And it's quite literally just follow this wall on the left. It's kind of easy. Especially when you have a guide and you're trying to find a place. This just makes it so much easier so that way I'm not out here for days looking for it. And... Uh, Ooh, I see the architect structures starting to pop up. Is that the right thing? No, I think I need to keep on going down this way to the right. Um, this is where I pause my guide. I should probably pull it back up. Okay, yeah, no, this is still pretty easy. It's quite literally go this way. Hug the left. Oh, that is one of the ice worms. I was told to hug the left wall. Um, that's actually kind of scary. And then we should see a snow stalker up here. And... I panicked. I panicked and hit every button. <laughs> I hopped off. Oh, we get up to this cave. Oh, that thing's scary. That's probably the first, like, actual scary leviathan. Because all you hear is the ground, like, urgh, like, move around you, and then it's just there. Oh, I need to repair this as well. It took some damage. Okay. I need to check my guide again as well, because this is where he got to, and yeah, I paused it. Okay, no, this is extremely easy from here. I'm basically there. I need to go straight. Uh, I shouldn't have to pull up the guide again either. Should just go straight, and then boom, we boost. Oh, I'm clenching. I don't like that. I hate that. There is almost certainly vital information pertaining to my body construction nearby. Oh, you think? I'm lost. Because I thought this was where the guide was going. You gotta be kidding me. No. No, this is... This is... Uh, this is... Uh, no. It's quite literally just as go straight. Don't worry, there's just a bunch of uh, ice leviathans that's gonna chase you the whole time. But just go straight. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it... it Nope, 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 nope. Ah! It had Nope, 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 we got some emeralds. Now, if this was Minecraft, we would be rich with the villagers. 
they'd still probably only give me one potato for it. I thought there was a tissue sample here. There is. Architect component. Ah. That is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. I need to, uh... All the components we need to make a storage, of body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compound... How do I change your battery? I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Okay, I think this is the way. How do I... There's got to be a way to change your battery, right? I'm not just... How do I change its battery? Because I would like to change it before I leave. I need to figure that out. Okay, this is actually kind of a weird way to do it. Yep, that's definitely a weird one. But we're fully charged. Let's see if we can remember how to get back. You go this way. We need to go straight. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, it killed me! It full on killed me! Oh, what do you mean I lost some belongings? I the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. I lost my snow fox. Fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depth. Fabrication facility. So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. Oh, this is going to be so, hard. What were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. It's right there. It's just... Oh, uh, I can I can't I could get it but do I need to is the thing <laughs> Am I going to need the snow fox again Cuz that's out there in leviathan infested ice I just got killed by one I got what I went there for all I had to do was scan that So technically yeah Oh I this is going to be a lot easier than I thought. I'm going to have to... The only thing that's going to be hard to get is the synthetic fiber. I'm not joking. And that's actually not that hard. All I have to go deal, go deal with is the shrimp leviathan. Honestly. And I'm pretty sure I have almost everything here for the skeleton. I just got to get the plasteel ingot. So that means I need titanium. And I need kyanite for the organs. But that's going to be pretty easy because I can grab three kyanite on our way down to go build him because that's actually where we have to go we have to head to the very bottom of the of the crystal caverns yeah down into the red crystals which apparently i missed also what are the jellyfish here doing come on guys you guys are legit like bubbling up on me but yeah i'm gonna just check my guide here real quick make sure i'm not gonna need the snow fox again and if i don't need it we're going to just call it here for the episode. Alrighty, guys. So we are quite literally just going to abandon the snow fox. It appears that it has served its purpose, its life. I really don't need it anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, I keep on doing that. No, 
I wanted to pilot the sea truck. I gotta reconnect. But if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this has been Gun Chimori signing off. Peace. Yeah.